They're talking about telemedicine in there. That's the new thing. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are at St. Pete Fashion Week, the beginning, the soiree. We're here. It's raining, but don't worry <laughs> about that because Titan Medical Center is always bringing it first class events. It's going off in there. It's awesome. It sucks that it's raining out here, but it's a party in there. We always bring the sunshine. Oh, yeah. And don't forget the St. Pete Fashion Week, the fashion show that Saturday. We always put on a great event. This is our second year doing this. And we got some exclusive Titan gear that we're gonna be showing off at that fashion show. You excited? I'm super excited. In fact, we have some of our medical personnel in the fashion show. So you should come check it out because John did a really good job at putting together some of those cool, cool, cool different designs. Oh, thanks, baby. I appreciate that. <laughs> so I love it. Maybe I was a designer in my previous life. He was. Who knows? But I'm telling you, we're gonna bring the heat on that runway. We're gonna be like the grand finale. So come check it out. And if you're seeing this video afterwards, you missed one heck of an event. I'll see you next year. Welcome back guys, I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're back with our Tight Medical Center Clothing Spotlight. And we're here with our beautiful model, internal team member and Titanette, Michelle. And today, we're having her model our Tight Medical Center clothing line with our beautiful sports bra and our Tight Medical Center leggings. So this will not only make you guys feel good in the gym, but look good in and outside by the way that you're looking in these awesome clothing apparel. So today we have our metallic and black tight medical center leggings with sports bra. Obviously we want you guys to match and look good and feel good all the way around. So why don't you just turn around for us, Michelle, show us. So these cuts are awesome. They're going to hug your curves correctly. They're not going to slide down. They're not going to ride up. You're not going to have any white showing when you bend over per se, like some of the other leggings I've seen out there. These are very, very high quality leggings and sports bras for you guys. Now, if you guys don't like the metallic black look, we've got about 14 other different color combinations that you guys will love. From camo to solids, whatever color you guys like, we probably have and you guys will look fantastic in it. Even if you want to dress in it every day of the week, like some of our tight nets or girls do. Well, it's too comfortable not to do it every day of the week. So you must put this on every day of the week, no matter where you're going, grocery shopping, to the store, yeah. mm -hmm. to your doctor's office, whatever it might be. What do you think, Michelle? Do you get a lot of compliments in your experience? All the time. Everyone wants to know where to get them. So yeah. get them on our website. Awesome. So tightmedicalcenter.com is where you can purchase all of our Titan Athletic apparel and Tight Medical Center apparel so you guys will look good and feel good together. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys keep it locked to our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and make sure you guys go to tightmedicalcenter.com to check out all of our clothing. Boom, baby. Yeah, this is really cool because it's got the, the front where it's crossed. That's what we do. We're getting this all planned out right here. You know, there's a lot that goes into these events, especially a fashion show because we got to pick out like 15 different outfits for all these different people. It, it's it's a little crazy and you got to make sure that it's going to fit them right because you don't want your brand looking horrible running down the walk walkway or runway, I should say. But None of my people look horrible anyway. So at that point, because they're on Titan Therapies. But, uh, you know, <laughs> we want to make sure they look the best that they possibly can because it's all about looking your best. Okay, so you were going to put me... Looks so good. You'll have to wear your booty. We'll just have to fix it before she comes up. Well, I'll wear it. Like that looks and so good. He said, 
Yeah, yeah, that would be cute. Oh, yeah. that's gonna look nice. OMG. OMG. Bring the fire! Who is she? Woo, woo! Shut up. Woo! Shut up. <laughs> woo, woo! Shut up. <laughs> you gotta love behind the scenes, right? <laughs> I always follow CDC guidelines. <laughs> this is the, you are oh, yeah. way out of the CDC guidelines right here. Too much skin. You like that? Yeah. Looks good, right? Where's that? Yeah, Ready, me, set, go! <laughs> yes! Yes! This is so cute! Are they? Slay! Do it! Okay. What? Yes! Good! Yep. Like, you're going to run fast, are you? I had to think about it. I was right, going to have her possibly two? do two. Okay, so we like, can do one. Walk down the runway to start off. Let's start this bad boy off. Pow! And then. And then have the blue at the last yeah, one. Yeah, blue last. Boom! That's our grand finale. Yeah, I like that. You like that? Yeah. Okay, I like that. Three, um, three, uh, we can throw the tent in the back of my jeep and pull it up. Okay. 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 We're going to have a model show you how it's done first, and then we'll do a run through. Okay. Hey, everybody! I don't know if you guys are ready. This is our last designer of the evening on the runway here at the Center for Play. Make some noise! Titan Medical Center Fitness Wear, our main sponsor for the evening. Let's bring them out.
Illinois, Titan Medical Center Fitness Wear. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I'm here with beautiful Zoe, and she's got one of our awesome pink Titan Medical Center camel outfits on. She looks awesome in it, so let's break down what's going on here on Zoe. So how are you doing today, Zoe? Good, I'm doing great. You're doing great, so she's in, in the studio showing us this awesome outfit and how it looks on you, very awesome. So this, we have a crisscross new sports bra. The matching sports bra Titan Medical Center goes with the leggings. These are very, very high quality. They're four-way stretch. They're gonna be very comfortable on you. So if you're walking around or you're in the gym, maybe possibly doing squats, they're not gonna ride down. They're not gonna ride up. And they're not gonna show the big white blast in back if they get stretched too much. I think some of you ladies have had that experience happen to you. So if you guys want to purchase these awesome outfits, like this one Zoe has on here with the leggings on top, all you have to do is go to TitanMedicalCenter.com, click on the clothing, and you can shop there for all our great items, and these especially. Or you can call or text us at 727-389-3220, and we can hook you up through the phone. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out Zoe and this awesome pink camel. Thank you, Zoe, for coming in and, and demonstrating and show everybody the way they can look in a Titan Medical Center outfit. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So this Cupid's Corner is kind of a special one uh, because it goes along with the whole show that we're doing here on our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle show. So we did this weekend the Titan Medical Center Fashion Show. So it was the 2020 St. Petersburg Art and Fashion Week and Titan Medical Center presents that week and we were the main highlight of the fashion show. So we were like, you know, the, the big boom at the end of the fireworks, <laughs> the explosion. Um, so and we had two shows. But it, it brought me, you know, some, some ideas of what we can talk about today on Cupid's Corner. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with fashion and hygiene. Hygiene. Along, along with, your, with, with you guys, right? Important. Dealing with both males and females and the importance of this. So it's important, first of all, start in hygiene, right? We should definitely start with hygiene before we even get into like outfits. Okay, <laughs> all right, so hygiene's a pretty big thing. And, and you know, the basics of hygiene. So we have an 11 year old son and like every day I'm like, oh, did you gosh. put on your deodorant? Did you comb your hair? Put some gel in there, you know, did you shower? I mean, come on, these are- <laughs> Did these you are, use soap? Yeah. I mean, you know, these are, these are pretty common questions and you would think this is like really, really basic and, and people would just realize that, you know, this is what they should be doing, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think if you guys are a couple or married, then you probably know each other's hygiene uh, routine, yeah. right? So you know what your partner does or doesn't do uh, pretty good, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, if you've been with your partner for a long time, then you're probably used to your partner's hygiene habits, right? Um, can they improve some of these hygiene habits? I don't know. That's depending on your relationship and who you're with. So if you have some, some good tips maybe for your partner, there's a couple of good ways to introduce these things to them without offending them. Yeah, how do you introduce, like for instance, I guess, since it's probably in your brain somewhere, so yep. I'll pick it out. Yep. So let's just say that a girl or a guy, they yep. go work out, right? Yep. Yep. And after their workout, they yep. smell like dirty socks. Let's just say, oh, okay? God. Maybe they didn't put on enough deodorant She's that She's giving me the hint right now. No, I am not. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I have smelled, okay, yeah. people that have got done working out yeah. and they smell like that and I'm sure they probably go home to their significant other yeah. but and they're probably hanging out a little bit before they take a shower. So yeah. how do you get that across to them 
Do you, should you just buy them extra deodorant and just be like, here? No, I, I would definitely, you know, I mean, I would come away in a positive way to somebody and be like, man, you must have killed it today. <laughs> man, you were, you know, you must have just sweated your butt off in there, which is great. You're killing it. That's awesome. Um, you know, there's this awesome spray you can spray on afterwards. You know, it's an after spray. Make yourself smell good because you know how I get, honey, when I work out. I probably don't smell the best either. So, I mean, I think that's a really easy way to, to lean into that conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody understands, like, after we sweat profusely or we're working out hard in the gym or doing what we need to do outside or whatever it is, we might not smell the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's from sweating, perspiration, and a number of different things. Now, me, I use a clinical deodorant. That's a good so, one. Uh, you know, I so use one too. I, I really think that that's, that's a, a, a big one. And, you know, you have to look into some of these deodorants, and I really haven't, and I should, because you have endocrine disrupting chemicals yeah. that are in some of these different things, like these deodorants and stuff like that. So just look into a clinical one, I guess, you know, as they far as They work a little standard. bit better. They do. And they, they stay longer. They stay, you know, they stay longer, so they might make them smell good. And like I said, like a body spray, or even cologne afterwards, that's what I do. You know, I mm -hmm. spray a couple a couple squirts of cologne because I have to come back to the office usually and be around <laughs> all girls, staff, uh, and a couple guys in here, but they all don't want to smell me right and if you're going to the gym and working out and you're coming home or you're going to work afterwards please right you know be courteous to your partner be courteous to your staff or to your peers and make sure you don't smell bad nobody likes a smelly person mm -hmm. i tell my son that all the time whether it's brushing your teeth mm -hmm. because that's a big one i mean your mouth you know what we eat what we intake some uh, you know a uh, you know, the acids you know, could come up from from your stomach. And it's funny he mentions that because this morning um, we were actually brushing our teeth at the same exact time, right? Yep. And what was going through my head at that very moment this morning at like whatever time that was. Yeah. <laughs> we're both brushing our teeth, and of course we have two sinks next to each other, right? And I'm like, I wonder who brushes uh, their teeth longer. <laughs> Because we both started at the same time. I don't know if he noticed, but I'm I'm bringing it up now because I thought it was funny. I thought she was looking at me. You got funny. <laughs> you brush my teeth. I'm like, damn, I've done this for how many years? Are you know? like, all right. No, we're just at the... We ne I don't know that. I don't Am think I we ever brushed doing something them. wrong here? I got something on my face? <laughs> so anyways, um, I was just curious and I was like, wow, I guess I finished first. He, so he must brush his teeth longer. He's just... He's got better breath than me, I suppose. I, I mean, I just I like to go over everything, <laughs> make sure I cover all the spots, and brush my tongue and the whole nine. Oh uh, yeah, you know? for sure. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have bad breath. Did you, know? you notice that? I, I noticed you kind of looking at me. I didn't notice the time <laughs> difference, and I didn't try to say who was going to brush her teeth the longest. I was just curious. It was in my brain. It's fine. Yeah. And these could be questions that you might have yeah. for your partner. You can always ask them. I don't think you they're going to just look. They're going to get upset. You guys can have a brush off, I guess. <laughs> See who has the cleanest teeth or best Jeez. breath at the end. You know? Remember, you got to sing the happy birthday song like five times. Uh, happy birthday yeah. to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, not me, <laughs> not me, not me. So oh, hygiene geez. plays a big part, Very you know, sure. and this could be in trimming hair. So, you know, like me, I'm a hairy monkey or beast or caveman, whatever you want to call me, <laughs> uh, Greek. At that point, I, I grow a lot of hair, chest, back, you know, everywhere except for the top of my head. I want more <laughs> hair there, but I can't get any more. So, uh, so at that point, listen, you know, just to trim things up would be nice, whether it be, you know, on your chest or your back, if your wife or significant other likes that, um, below in the lower regions, make sure there's not getting hairballs and stuff like that for mm -hmm. you, you know, just being courteous to them in that, that passion too. And I, I think it'll look a lot better, especially with some of the shirts that are out there nowadays, like workout shirts and stuff like that. I hate it because stubbles and all that stuff show through mm -hmm. them. So you have to have so much of a, a trim chest or a shaved chest and stuff like that for them to look good. You're like, man, we're all those little bumps on you. You look like a, you know, a, a crunch bar, you know, <laughs> a Nestle's crunch bar. You know, you got all those little, little, little well, the bumps females on the back. too. I mean, you guys got to stay up to date on shaving your legs. Now I'm lucky; I only have to shave my legs like twice a week. Um, but you guys should do that because you know, if they go to touch your leg, they don't want to go like this and touch all these stubbly little yeah. hamsters on your leg. Yeah. So, you know. So yeah, so take a second. Take hygiene as a priority, um, and don't get complacent. Make sure whatever you're starting to do in the relationship in the beginning, you're following through with that, or you're evolving in some way. You're not just letting yourself go. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next one is dressing up for your partner or with your partner. Um, you know, make sure you're, you're you know you're the way that you present yourself 
says a lot about you in a lot of different ways, you know, mm-hmm. whether you care or don't care what somebody thinks about you, you know, when you go out in public, they might look at what you're wearing and if it's like really crazy or it just doesn't fit right or it's just off the wall, you know, these people might think a different thing about it. And you might say, I don't really care. And that that's fine. That's totally fine. And you should be like that. But for your partner, you want to make sure that, you know, you're appealing to them, right? In some way, shape or form, hopefully. Um, and at that point, you can find the fashions that work for you and work for them and because that should be the most important thing. Well, not only that, do. but I mean, even for a female, from a girl's perspective, you know, whenever you go out, you know, maybe someone like me, I work like literally every second of the day. Yeah. So when I wake up, I don't usually do my makeup to come to work. Like I don't put on, you know, my little fluffy eyebrows and, you know, do my uh, bronzers and my cheekbones. I, I don't have time for that. Right. So I throw my hair up. Well, not right now, but I throw my hair up. Um, you know, don't put on any makeup and just run off with my sneakers and whatever else I could find in my closet that fits. So when you go out to dinner, it's just you guys. And, you know, you want to be pretty right. for your husband or your significant other, mm-hmm. your boyfriend, fiance, whatever it is. So do your makeup. Put on something nice, a dress, heels. Maybe even if you don't want to wear a dress or heels, maybe even throw on some jeans with a pair of heels and just dress up a little bit. Both of you yep. guys dress up. Dress up, go out, and have a great time with each other. Yeah, so that's that's one of the tips out of this out of this segment we want to really you know send out to you guys. If you're in a relationship and you guys are always busy or you guys aren't always in the best dress, maybe he's a mechanic and always greasy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, maybe you're, sure. maybe you're dirty too. It, it really doesn't. You know, it, <laughs> you know, maybe you're maybe you're uh, you know in horses or something like that, clean stalls, whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. So at that point, listen, plan a night where you guys can dress up and have a good time. Maybe go to dinner, go to a show. We had a friend of ours who went to a fashion show this weekend. They don't usually get to dress up as a couple. They got to dress up. He was suited up. She had a nice dress on. They looked awesome and they had a great time. Um, and you can have, you can create some great memories out of this too. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that we like to provide you guys. Yeah. So remember, your appearance is important. It's important to your partner. Your hygiene is important too. So make sure that you guys are improving on them or keeping a standard for yourself and for your partner so you guys can look good, feel good, and perform good together. (laughs) All right? So this has been another Cupid's Corner segment. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for Cupid's Corner on Tight Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. Thanks, guys. See you then. Bye.